Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and this video is going to be a country tag Sing that independent do the country tag and I hope you enjoy <laughs> Okay, so first things first I'd like to give out to makeup uh, Makeup Percy for beating my face today. I mean I do my own makeup, but it's not this good She's professional and so she hooked me up for this video The only problem is I'm shooting it late in the night because I had a very busy day so without wasting any without wasting much of your time let's begin um actually before we begin I'm, i want to shout out to steph stuff lately because the questions that i'm going to answer in this in this country tag i got them from her she did she did the same tag uh, about a few months ago and so the questions that i'm going to answer are from there are from steph lately's video so the first question is what is your zambian name um my zambian name is Oh, I have a lot of names. <laughs> I have a lot of names, but my my all of my names are Fanny, Jambizani, Rusiku, Chikoko, and there's like two others that don't need to be mentioned. But basically, these are my Zambian names. Um, the second question is where where in Zambia were you born? <laughs> born? Where in Zambia were you born? I was born in Lusaka, the capital city. Although we didn't live in Lusaka at the time, but I was brought to be born in Lusaka, so I was born in Lusaka. Third question is favorite Zambian movie. Um, my favorite Zambian movie. What can I say? I think it's not really a movie, but kind of like a a series. Um, just a show that I got so much into when I was home this holiday. It's called Fever, Fever, and I found it in its second season, but I was able to catch up, and it was I I enjoyed it. So it featured some characters like this man called Rex, um, Taonga. Yeah, there was a Taonga and whatnot. It was basically it was just a, it was a it was it was full of drama, and um, it was a good it was a good show, a good like locally produced show for me to watch. For for me, it was a good locally produced show that I enjoyed. Um, it's not a movie; it's a series, but I think it counts in this category. Um. <laughs> Pardon me if I'm sniffing a lot. It's just it's cold here. Spring is start rather um fall is starting and it's cold. So um uh, okay. The fourth question is favorite Zambian song. Sing it and add background music. <laughs> so um my favorite Zambian music. I would like to say right now it has to be it has to be Kekero and. Um, let's see, Kikero and uh, this other guy, what's his name, in Kaladoshas. Kikero and Kaladoshas, so this one is Kikero and Kaladoshas, it's called Wikaleka. Is it Wikaleka? It's, yeah, yeah, it's Wikaleka Nkeve. <laughs> so this is maybe, who is the part? Yeah, I like Kikero's part the most, so before, the, before YouTube starts giving me copyright contact, let me find the part that I like. Um, aside from that song, I also like another song which is by T. Sean and it's called uh, Don't Leave Me On. So basically, the guy is like, Don't leave me on, got so nikonda. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Wait, let me find it. Could be some feeling younger. So baby got to use it, what could you soon Don't leave me on. Don't leave me on. Hey, I love this song. I drop my hand and my kiss in my face. Will you stop? Listen, before I get carried away, before I get carried away in this song, let's go back to the, let's go back to the questions. So, um, all right, that was question number four, and it was, what's your favorite Zambian songs? And I have two, so I played those ones. Kaladoshas, featuring Kekaro, Wikalekan, Keve, and uh, Tishon, Don't Lead Me On. So now, question number five is, uh, what's your favorite Zambian food? My favorite Zambian food, you guys, you don't understand. I like carpenter 
and uh, cabbage and inshima. That's I've I've always loved. I mean, other foods have come and gone, but this one I I love kapintan, kapintan cabbage and shima. Like I love that. Um. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Just to make the list long, what else do I like? Um, <clears throat> I like impa. Yes, I like impa. I also like. Whew, this is hard. Yeah, I like chihuahua. I like bondue. I like basically I, I I like I like Zambian food, but these are these are my favorites. These are the ones that are worthy of making the list. Um, number six is what was the when was the last time you was in Zambia? Um, I was in Zambia about two months. Okay, not even two months ago. Basically, I left in August towards the end, month end of August. So I was there this year. I spent about nine, almost ten weeks there, and uh, yeah, I was there. I was there on holiday. Question number six is, uh, what tribe are you? Okay, I, my dad, my father is Biza, Biza, that's B-I-Z-Z-A, actually B-I-Z-A, and my mother is Tonga. So um, I am I am Biza by tribe. Question number eight is, say something in your tribal language. Well, unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> unfortunately, I can't, and I, 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 I will not. So we will skip this question, um, unless I have to say something in my mother's language, and I would just say "muributi," uh, and you would respond with something like "turigabotu," you know. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yo, <laughs> let's see. What do you like the most? Uh, what do you like the most about Zambia? What do I like them? The the one thing that I like the most about Zambia is like people are very friendly. Trust me. You hearing me say that people are friendly, you can you can take it for granted and just be like, oh, aren't aren't isn't everybody supposed to be friendly? Aren't aren't people just supposed to be friendly? But no, Zambian people are very friendly and kind. I mean, like I I there there were times when I was on the streets and I didn't even know who this person was, but we just they just said hello to me and I responded. I said hello and they responded. I mean that right there. That was an act of that was an act of kindness. Like you don't even know me, but you're asking, you're greeting me, you want to say hello to me. That warmed my heart. Whereas I've realized living in Russia, you can't just you can't just greet somebody on the street. They'll laugh. They'll they'll look at you and be like, mm, "That's not January." So some people are really kind, and that that's the one thing that I really learned to apologize, learned to appreciate when I came here. Like just that whole, you know, that kindness that. That warm thing that people, that the Zambian people have. What do you like the most? Yeah, that's what I like the most about the Zambian people. But what I like the most about Zambia itself is the weather. Um, that Yes, the weather is one thing that I've learned to like, miss, appreciate. and So I'll put it there, the weather. What do you hate the most about Zambia? What do I hate the most about Zambia? Um, I guess just, you know, internet. <laughs> internet is very expensive in Zambia. I don't know why it's still so expensive. This is 2018, but internet is still so expensive in Zambia. So I hate that about Zambia. Um, do you have any nicknames? Yeah, I do. It's Ntombi, the shortcut for Ntombi Zani. And of course, my dad, my parents who, who sometimes call me Fafa. I guess those qualify as nicknames. <laughs> um, question number 12 is what makes you different from other Zambians? Wow. The questions are getting harder. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I never really looked at the questions before this video. I wanted to be spontaneous. I wanted to have authentic reactions as I watched it. I just wanted everything to be, like, real. So anyway, back to the question. What makes you different from other Zambians? Ooh. I think just myself. I've got a very unique... I've got a very unique character. I sometimes... I have this thing that in my family they've told me I'm funny, I make them laugh. Um and oh, I don't know, this is a hard question. What makes me different from from Zambians? I mean, cuz the thing about Zambians we all seem to have the same ab habits. We all seem to be driven by the same thing. But so what makes me different? I think th what makes me different from other Zambians is I guess the the thing i have this thing in me to bring about change so i usually sometimes i'm just sitting by myself and i would 
and I would just come up with an idea and I'd just be like, okay, and what if I did that for my country? What if I did this? What if I do that? What did that? So this this thing about me that I like that I have to bring change, I think, what makes you different? I don't know. I, I, I this question is very hard, you guys. So do you speak your language? Yes, I did. I yes, I do speak, and I already did that. So I'm not, I'm not gonna take a lot of time on this question. What around your house represents your culture? Ooh. <laughs> Am I really Zambian if I can't answer this question? What around your house represents your culture? I'm sorry, I'm gonna pass this one. <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm definitely gonna pass this one. Um, the last question is, what is what is a ridiculous question you were asked about your culture? Um, I guess first of all, the the most ridiculous question that they get that I that that they ask me mostly when when they get to find out what tribe I am. They, they, they're always like, what, Bisa or Bisa? They kind of like don't acknowledge that there's a difference between Bisa and Bisa. Uh, yeah, Bisa and Bisa. So I guess, um, and then they go, they, they now like need for me to explain why I think it's different. And that has led to people asking me ridiculous questions in the process of them trying to understand what is Bisa, what is the difference between Bisa and Bisa. So, oh wow. <clears throat> Listen, I don't know. If you enjoyed my video, please like, leave me a comment. Um, <laughs> share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And see you next time.